Hello everyone, I am Veos and welcome back to another video. Today it's pretty much just a testing type of video, testing day basically. It took almost five hours to go through this whole thing, so definitely a weekend video. But I wanted to see just how fine-tuned I could make the docking port Kraken drive, or aka my warp drive, right? I call it a warp drive, but it's a Kraken drive, but anyway. So throughout the five hours, I tested every single docking port except for the expandable one because I really didn't think that that was going to be something I could really use because of just how kind of bulky it was. I don't know, maybe one of these days I'll use it, but I don't think I'll get the same results as I got that you'll see later on in the video. So the first ones, of course, was the big ones, the big do docking ports, the mega docking ports. And at first, the whole thing exploded on the runway as soon as it loaded up. So I actually had to put struts on it. And surprisingly, I only got like maybe up to almost like 2 Gs of acceleration. It wasn't much, and I knew this was going to probably be the case before I even started because of the fact that they're so bulky and heavy, and honestly, I don't think their magnetic force or whatever it is that's put into the part is actually that strong. So once that was tested, I went for the medium-looking docking ports. They, too, decided to want to explode upon loading on the runway, so I had to strut those as well. After testing those, I've only, I only got up to, like, maybe, I think it was three or four Gs of acceleration not a whole lot at all but when i tested the little ones that's when we started getting some real power and i think it's a lot to do with not only the magnetic force that they have between each other but the fact that they're so lightweight so once i figured out that the little ones were the ones that you needed the way to go basically that's when i started focusing in on just how much i could squeeze out of these little docking ports it got to the point where each of these little i like to call them warp coils basically a piston with a whole bunch of docking ports on one end of each of the piston on each end of the piston so it's like one warp coil right and then once i fine tune that warp coil then i start adding more of them now this i was able to get up to like 10 g's of acceleration with just one warp coil give or take and then adding more warp coils it didn't really provide that much more g's of acceleration by itself but i'm thinking that it's it's good to add more warp coils because if you start adding a larger ship that's more weight so the more warp coils you have the faster you can go the more it can pull basically i go and i i build a warp coil i call it a warp coil but it's basically just a piston with a bunch of docking ports on it i went ahead and went to the max to what i was comfortable with on how many pistons or how many excuse me how many docking ports i was going to put on these pistons so i went to the went with the max of 24 docking ports on each end of a piston that's a lot of docking ports i was scared that it was going to explode but no it sure didn't i didn't use i didn't have to use struts on these little docking ports which was a, a bonus a plus now i'm not too sure that that's the way to go because even with 24 docking ports on either end of the piston which would equal 80 what no 48 docking ports to get to total for one warp coil basically surprisingly i didn't get a whole lot more acceleration than i would with a docking port that say only had 24 i mean i mean a, a warp coil that only had 24 docking ports on it surprisingly so i ended up basically at the very end creating a warp coil or a warp engine with 17 g's of pull or thrust not a whole lot but it's still plenty it was interesting though because i was messing around with the with the warp coils per se i call it the warp coils but i was messing around with how they engage one another you know is it does it go faster if the pistons come together slowly compared to quickly and i found out that yes if you have the pistons close the gap between the docking ports slower it's almost Almost like the docking ports will be able to read their counterpart on the other end better or something of that nature so it'll connect to the right docking port or want to connect to the right docking port whereas if you just quickly threw them together it's like the unity program or the unity engine doesn't quite read it right and so you start having like different docking ports trying to connect to other docking ports instead of one docking port to one docking port you have like one docking port trying to connect to two docking ports you know you know what i mean which of course unfortunately lowers the g-force because it's kind of like a misfire fire in an engine. At first I was I thought that maybe each warp coil needed a different type of calibration in order for the engine to be faster but it turned out that that wasn't the case. It seemed like it when I was tweaking it but in all reality it wasn't the case. So I think I've squeezed out as much as I'm going to squeeze out of this little docking port Kraken drive and so I decided to test it on a ship with some very hilarious outcomes. But when I was able to finally get it into space I went ahead and headed towards Jewel and I reached Jewel. I could have reached Jewel 
lot faster if I had the patience to wait because you can't you can't fast forward with this engine on or else your ship starts spinning out of control but if I had the patience to wait I could have gotten to Joel a lot faster but basically I got there in about two months Kerbal time a little more than two months it was like 70 days or something like that I mean two months to Joel is is pr pretty good <laughs> <laughs> That's like a round trip to Minmus. A little, a little more than a round trip to Minmus. I can only imagine that if I actually had the patience to aim at Joel and then kind of like walk away from the computer for an hour and come back and then turn around at some point and then walk away from the computer for an hour and then come back, that it would have been, it would have been way shorter. But pretty cool, I must say. Pretty awesome. So yeah, just a little bit of testing for today. Some mad cracking science for you. Now later on in the video, I get a call from one of my friends and we have a little discussion and stuff as we're playing ksp so stay tuned for that at the very end of the video all right everyone i'm out of here thank you so much for coming and thank you so much for being a part of this channel thank you so much for your likes and your shares you are all amazing and i love you all take care have a wonderful weekend and i'll see you in the next video bye for now bye bye You know, I was just about to head to bed, but Inter's here now. Oh, I'm sorry. <laughs> the one that the one I posted, like five conversations. Oh, the the teleporty thing. Yeah, he recently got like a million subscribers, and congratulations to him. He, he deserves it. I wish I had a million subscribers. That'd be nice. So what? What about that? You you, you watched it? <laughs> yeah, I watched it. It's Fuck, hilarious. <laughs> <laughs> so, no. It, Dude, I thought about you when I saw that because I was like, that's exactly what it turned to. <laughs> Inter's Odyssey is actually a very interesting, inter, interesting, what? Interesting creator. So make sure to visit his channel and give him some love. He even has a cool unfolding box that was inspired by one of my videos. Check it out to see what it unfolds to be, or is to be. To, anyway, on with the show. <laughs> you mean these? He's like, Ooh. You mean these big f***ing things? He's like, bruh. <laughs> Oh, yes, we're using some crack and drive. Oh, yeah, he is. Maybe. <laughs> that looks crack and drive ish. Maybe. <laughs> Best dancer ever. Maybe. Beautiful pizza. women. I got a dream women. of. No, dream of. No, wo wo women yes. of temporary pizza is forever. No. <laughs> <laughs> Bullshit. <laughs> I'm gonna have to call horse that one, Rubble Duck. <laughs> Your logic is deniable. <laughs> uh, Ma'am, if they gave me two options, have a beautiful, loving wife, or this amazing slice of pizza, I would choose the amazing slice of pizza. I'm telling you, man. Oh, sure. Yeah, oh my gosh. Whoa, dude. <gasps> okay, well, this is... What did this, you just do? <laughs> this is, uh, this is kind of working. Oh, whoa. whoa. It'd be going fast. Something about iron uh, Okay, well, it definitely. Orgy. Def Orgy. I, 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 Orgy. It, mm. Orgy.